What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC. Welcome back to JC Plays. This is another Factorio tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking about fluid tanks and how to take some measurements and know how much fluid you have in a very large number of tanks without measuring all of the tanks. This is an array of 20 tanks. If you have an array of 200 tanks, 300, 400 tanks, and they're active, you're constantly putting fluid in, like in an oil field, and you're constantly pulling uh, crude oil out or fluid out to process into petroleum gas, or you know, you're, you're sucking water into a bunch of tanks and you have trains hauling it off or, or whatever. Uh, maybe you have processes that turn on and off as I do. I start reactors, I stop them. This affects, you know, my volume of water, my flow rates. So there are times where you want to know how much water do you have in total? And, you know, maybe how much do you have per tank on average, especially in a large array? Uh, the on average, it, you know, it's just a, it's a number to know because you can do some other stuff with it. So in a large array of tanks, you're going to have fluid that builds up at the input side and sometimes fluid will build up at the output side a lot of times the fluid volume will dip in the middle and this is a result of tanks that are connected to each other along with the pipes try to even out the water just like in real life it tries to seek uh, its level and so it'll run out and it runs into the other tanks these all have about 1.2 thousand in them but when I was first filling it up, these were quite full and these were absolutely empty and it stayed that way even after I disconnected the pipe while these trickled down until it evened out. So, when you have hundreds of tanks, you're not going to measure them all. So we're going to do what's known as taking a sample. I talk about, you should kind of sample from your input side to your output side or from whatever side has the most fluid to whatever side seems to have the least fluid and in a large number of tanks i suggest you do two rows like that they can be next to each other they can be a few tanks apart or rows apart it doesn't matter but you do need good sample data so we're going to just connect our center four tanks here in this little cluster of 20 that accounts for uh, 20 percent of our tanks and now let's grab ourselves an arithmetic combinator because we want to do some math last time I checked arithmetic was math so we're gonna just now that we have that down connect our red cable because all of our tanks are connected with red we have to use the same color cable to take that data and we're connecting it to the input side of the arithmetic combinator Now when we mouse over it, if you look on the right hand side of my screen, it says input signals. The icon is the channel and the channel is water and it's detecting a total of 4.6 thousand. Because there's no water moving around, I trust that this is absolutely accurate. If there were water moving around, I do not trust that this would be accurate. So we're going to take that, that's our input, and we're going to that's the that's an input that's available it's not going to work in here until we select that channel now that we have selected this channel that value is now available in here we're going to multiply that times five because four times five is 20 and we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue using the water as our channel on the output side because the data on the input side stops there it doesn't go any further so based on that we now know that we have uh, about 23,000 units of water in these tanks pretty accurate um, if you uh, take a good sampling you should have very accurate numbers and then you can use those numbers to control pumps to control trains um, to turn other things on and off, uh, electrical switches and whatnot. Now, if a situation arises where you would want to know what the uh, volume is in a tank on average, 
that we're going to use our arithmetic combinator and we're going to do another simple calculation. Let's grab our red wire and we're going to take the result of this, which is 23,000 from the output. We're going to bring it over here to the input side. Now you see we have 23,000 on the input. We're going to open it up because that information is still on the channel of water. We're going to select that. So now that information is available. The 23,000, that number is now represented here. And we're going to divide that by the number of tanks that we have, which is 20. And we'll go ahead and use channel water as our output channel because the uh, input channel again ends, or the water channel ends at the input, so we can continue it. And now you can see that our output signal or data is 1.1. So we're averaging 1.1 thousand units per tank. Why you would want to know that, I'm not sure, but these two different types of averages and information can be used to control a variety of things. So I hope this helps you understand how connecting uh, tanks or chests together gives you totals, uh, but you can take a sample and then you know come to a broader conclusion about how much fluid you really have in your storage array. I'm JC, this is JC Plays. Peace out.